my name is Don and welcome to episode 5 of Paris Saint-Germain Let's Play on Football Manager 18 Beta. Today we are taking on Napoli in the Champions League. We have already won the group, We've, we're unbeaten, we haven't dropped a single point. We'll go through all that in just a minute, but last result against, against Marseille. Germain scored to win 1-0 in the 90th minute for them. We then lost 4-3 to Nice. Disappointing result, we're 3-0 up, we're cruising and we imploded basically uh, some big names scoring there that maybe the maybe names of football, Wesley Schneider just didn't quite maybe reach his potential, Mario Balotelli hadn't reached his potential and Ben Arthur probably didn't either. Either way, we lost 4-3, a bit frustrating. Then beat Red Bull Salzburg 5-1, a quad from Cavani and a goal from Pastore. We then beat Anger, Anger sorry. 5-0, Cavani getting a hat-trick, Verratti and Kimpembe on the score sheet there. Then Cavani, Ningolan and Silva on the score sheet and a 4-0 win sorry, over Nantes. Then beat Bayern 4-2, they scored through Lewandowski and Boateng. We got a double race from Draxler, a goal from Neymar and a goal from Giovanni Lo Celso. Then lost 1-0 to AS Monaco, a bit disappointing this one. Phil they were the better team, I can't deny that, they deserved to win, they did score from a corner, felt like maybe good for a point, we couldn't get the goal back though unfortunately, no matter how much we threw at them at the end. Then we beat Troyes 4-0 with 10 men, which was quite nice, we actually only started playing really once we were down to 10, and then straightenly drew to Strasbourg 1-1. That leaves us in today's game, uh, the other thing I want to mention is the board gave me 93 million to spend. Uh, I've already spent most of it, um, so we've got transfers coming in at the start of January. Go through them in the next episode because that'll be at the other side of January anyway, and I'm hoping to bring one more player in. But it will see a big, big improvement to this squad, particularly left back, midfield areas. Um, try to think who the other signing was for now. Um, oh, yeah, and a backup winger, sort of just a rotation winger that's coming in as well. Going to rest a few players here because we've already won the group here, so there's no real point in throwing too much at it. I already started making some changes to the team when I was like, wait a minute, I'm recording this game. So I had to go back a little bit. Uh, so I'm fairly happy with how this team's going to look. Ningolan, he is back from that strange hip injury, shall we call it. Um, he has regressed a little bit, but he's still worth £61 million, so he's still a very good investment for us. Verratti were resting, he's been sensational. Uh, overall, very, very happy with how this team's turning out. Uh, I think I'm going to give Cavani the till the end of the season before I look to replace him. Um, simply because he's 10 goals off the club record. Um, go with that. Why are we looking stressed? Just no reason to be stressed, they've lost three of their last five, just pile the misery on them, we, we hammered them in the first game. Um, so we're going to go into the game, for fans of the Motorsport Manager series, that will be back, I've got the videos there to edit, the reason why I haven't is basically I was getting my computer upgraded, there was an issue with one of the parts, everything of that save was already backed up, so that's why that content hasn't been released, I've got to have to back up a lot of Football Manager, it should be getting done tomorrow I'm hoping. I'm going to get a couple of episodes out so that uh, there's no disruption to the football manager stuff. Uh, but right now, as we talk, everything is pretty much backed up apart from the FM save, which will be done last. Neymar whips it in. Kimbempe! Close from the centre back in for. Is it Thiago Silva he's in for today? It is. Trap plays it forward towards Cavani. Can't win it. Kilargi. Pastore. Raxler whips it in. Cavani, that's 1-0. Also, thank you for the comments that have been in the previous videos, uh, particularly the ones about uh, names that I pronounced wrong. I think one is Rabio. I was pronounced on Rabiot. It's a silent T. I can't remember the name of the person who made the comment, but thank you very much. That's the comments, particularly when I'm managing a country that I'm not really sure on how to pronounce the names. It's a very big help to me. So, I do appreciate these comments as... Napoli equalised from a recycled corner. Ah, frustrating stuff here. 
it's a, again, it's irrelevant. We've not even dropped a point. We've won the group in hand. We're just resting players, really. Um, so there wasn't any comments regards to who we should sign. That is the only other thing. So I've had to base it really on the scout reports. Now I scouted so many of the world's best players. There was four one hundreds ended up coming out. Uh, we've signed one of those. Uh, Pastorius just put us back in front, so we've signed one one hundred recommended player. I think one was eighty four, one was slightly less, but the one that was slightly less has potential, and it'll be able to be a very good rotation option right now for the wings. And I think he can play central midfield as well, so it covers quite a lot of positions, which is what we need. Um, but there was no real hit messages. I did try and sign Messi. I tried to sign Modric. I tried to sign Suarez. All those were going to take more than what the budget was, so I requested to the board. This was before they gave me the ninety-five million to spend. Um, I spoke to the board and they refused it. And then about two weeks later, they gave me ninety-five million. I was like, "That's unusual." Could have got me Messi for that kind of money. Either way, that was fine. We've got three players coming for that money and a little bit more. Maybe thinking of trying to get a goalkeeper in because I think that'd be the only other thing that we really need. Signing Messi or Suarez would just be a name thing. Cavani makes it 3-1 um, Suarez is probably a striker I'm going to look at for the end of the year what was interesting in the scout reports is Messi and Ronaldo were 98% Modric was 99 Suarez, one of the players have signed and two others, I can't remember who the two others were were all 100% so my scouts are valuing either four players sorry, five players as better value for money than Messi and Ronaldo very happy from what I've saw from this team right now. Free one up. That's good news. Also, I think there might have been a sound issue with yesterday's video. Part of that's down to my mic. I've got a very good quality mic, but for whatever reason, it doesn't really sound very loud. Um, and basically, when I'm trying to edit lots, it's sometimes very easy to not remember to just turn that up. That's on me. I do apologise. Please bear with me getting new editing software so hopefully I'll be able to default set that to do that until I can get a top end mic but right now a top end mic is about £200 that I cannot afford and I don't want to ask you guys for money because my channel is not big enough to be really doing that yet and this is a hobby for me it's not something I'm doing to try and make money or get better parts from a computer um, overall he's right now though free one up against Napoli very good first half performance I would say we've been clinical in our chances Cavani doing the business again. As I said, 10 goals off the record coming into this game, so he'll be 8 off now. So he should hit it this season. I'll give him to the end of this season and then move him on and bring in someone like Suarez or Harry Kane or someone like that. A top, top, top end striker. I'm not saying Cavani isn't that, but I want someone that's just world class. Dries Mertens, I believe he's one of the guys you should look to sign this year. I believe he's got a release cost of about 28 million, which is below his value. So if you're interested in signing that kind of player, Therese Mertens is definitely one that you could turn a profit on uh, very quickly. Godin to Yuri. Uh, the reason why I didn't look at him is because I've got Neymar basically and he wouldn't get any game time. So as much as I'd be trying to get a profit off him, I'd rather just win the league here and move on. That's a good ball out. Neymar's never getting there over Haysage. Pepe Reina out to the guy who opened the scoring to Albiol launch forward Thiago Silva loses it in there to Quaglarella Callahan Quaglarella again he's skied it ah, thank god for that we're going to bring on Kurzawa for Yuri I don't really like this Yuri very much um, we have got a left back coming in uh, Yuri's going to be the one that makes way basically because I prefer Kurzawa I just sort of decided to rest Kurzawa because of the yellow card for this game. La Celeso away. Halaj. I can't even pronounce half these Napoli players' names. Pastori wins it, gets it to Cavani. He's got Neymar on the left-hand side there, but he's dallying around. Albiol gets it to him. Cavani's dallying again. Can he just find a pass somewhere, please? Does now to Cavani. It's a good ball to Neymar. Oh, it's skiffed wide from Neymar. Uh, they made all their subs now as well. I think I'm going to make our next one. We're going to bring on Thomas Partey for Kalergi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pastore whips it forward. Nowhere near, nowhere near Cavani though. Hamsek. 
Mertens tackle that's fallen kindly and Napoli back level terms here from 3-1 down feels a lot like football manager previous this year we're going to confirm making that change anyway it's a defensive change but regardless of that we're going to make one more sub who are we making the sub for we're going to bring on Ningolan because we've not really seen him on the don't think we've seen him at all in the episodes that I've recorded so far because of his injury so let's get him introduced in here 42 million pound we spent on him we're not quite getting the full value of what we paid for because of that injury but it's fine it's Cavani that's his hat trick what a strike that was from Cavani by the way keeper was near post and he still gets it in there for his hat trick it's his 106th goal if I remember correctly for PSG yes we'll continue with the tactical changes thank you very much uh, kind of would like to have brought off Dragsford but Mbappe is injured it's only a small injury a couple of weeks uh, got injured in the Monaco game but we've got no real other right wing options till January and the new lad comes in as Cavani gets his fourth against his former club assisted by Javier Pastore with a lovely little ball through other thing that I would recommend you check out is my scouting tutorial I do say I don't understand something in it because it's normal but then I explain how it works so please just ignore that a little bit <laughs> it's my way of wording there's probably more to it than what I knew or what I know at present. I'm still trying to work out the kinks, but it's a very, very basic scouting tutorial. And the, what's it called? Um, Foot Manager for Beginners series. I'm hoping to start recording that later on today or tomorrow. Uh, so episodes for that should start to filter out over the next few days as well just working on the tutorial as well uh, the thumbnail just finishing off that even not the tutorial and then that will start to filter out and the other last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tactical guide just show the adjustments I've made to this tactic over the time that I've been managing PSG what I think works about it what I think doesn't work about it uh, so other people can give it a try should they wish uh, other than that I think this the channel is just going to uh, move along as it is for at least the next few weeks we've got another series planned for once this one ends uh, we've got a little while before that yet though uh, good win we'll just go with that conceding the two goals the three goals isn't ideal have conceded a bit less and taken some adjustments to the tactic but not enough um, so we win this uh, group D without dropping a point given that I thought it was going to be a really tough group I'm very very happy with that uh, next episode we will be back probably could bring you back for the Marseille game or the Champions League game that's around this time depending on who we get I think that makes sense so it's going to be quite a lot of games in between but I feel that's the best option if it was Marseille at home or a Champions League game which depending on who we get in the last 16 that will end this episode guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated and it helps the channel massively and i'll hopefully catch you all next time